Hey guys, Felix with Full Flow Health, where we make health and fitness easy to inspire staying on the health and fitness journey. In this video, I wanna share with you guys a secret formula that has helped me realize that consistency is the key to health and fitness. So I'll put an image on the screen just to give you guys a visual of what I'm gonna be explaining. It's called the action equals reaction formula. And I used to call it the stimulus equals adaptation formula, but that's a little sciencey. So I wanna go ahead and explain this in the simplest way possible. So what we can see here is that bright line is a timeline. And as we can see by the arrow tip on the right, it simply means that it just continues as time goes on. Now, at some point along that timeline, we will want to start some habits that will cause a reaction in our body that will cause better health and better fitness. And that is the starting point of that red line. And for most of us, we want to give ourselves a deadline. And we, we want to accomplish this either by 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, a year, whatever it may be. And that's the biggest mistake we can make because if we see there that during that red line, during those actions, our body, the reactions, they increase over time and only during those actions. If we discontinue those actions, then the, that reaction will just simply go away and dissipate over time. And discontinuing those actions can happen for two reasons. It can be that what we're doing is too intense or too extreme to be maintained over time and we're sacrificing that long haul over short term gain, you could say. Or secondly, it could be that we are changing those actions. So we may hear from somewhere that running is better than weightlifting and we discontinue the weightlifting to take on the running. Or it can even be on the nutritional side where someone can tell us that eating higher fat is better than eating higher carb and we lower the carbs and increase the fat and decrease that reaction and increase a whole other reaction. That's actually called yo-yoing, where we change up things so frequently that we don't give the body enough time to adapt or react to our actions. So this image here is actually what we want to achieve. We wanna make sure that we sustain our health and fitness as high as possible over time, or even help it go up incrementally over time. But the way that we do that is if we continue our actions forever, if we continue those actions, if we continue the training, the nutrition, and the recovery. So this image is that formula put in the simplest way. We have to enjoy our actions for the rest of our lives. It's called living in the flow state. It's when we actually get so immersed in doing what we do that we lose track of time, we lose track of anything else we're not doing it to achieve something doing it is the achievement but I feel like just sharing that with you doesn't really help you that much so let's talk about what does benefit us all for the rest of our lives and here are those actions when it comes to training focusing on hypertrophy and leanness hypertrophy just means the retention or the gaining of lean body mass. Now, I don't wanna say gaining muscle because then people, that'll scare some people away. It's simply the retention or the gaining, the increasing of lean body mass because as it turns out, studies are showing that humans, the, the, the body, the human body loses about 10% of his muscle mass throughout the course of a lifetime. That's why when we see the elderly, they have a very hard time functioning and it's because of that. It's because aging causes that depletion in lean body mass. And leanness, of course, because the leaner we are, the healthier we are, and the better we feel about ourselves. So nutritionally, the building blocks that are gonna support this type of training is protein to rebuild that lean body mass and actually every tissue in our body is made up of protein. 
fiber because it contributes to health and carbohydrates because it's our body's main energy source and also recovery and relaxation because we have to make sure that we balance the catabolic nature of life the destructive nature of life so that is it you guys in my upcoming video I'll be going more in depth into each of these and I'll also be sharing my experience and how I train how I eat and how I allow my body to recover and relax If you guys found this concept super easy to understand, then hit that like button. It'll help this video have an impression on more and more people. So let's go ahead and spread this message so that we can all start living a healthy life. And also, I do want to start a little challenge. It's actually for myself, not for any of you guys. But if this video gets 100 likes within the next week, I will work out and diet every single day for the rest of my life and document it for you guys. So if you're interested in seeing that, Give this video a like, hit the subscribe button and the notification icon so that you can see more videos from me. And that's that for that. And now to the fun stuff. Alrighty, so little chat. We had coffee, and now we're walking. Um, I find that it's easier to do cardio after your coffee. I don't like weightlifting because it's very, I feel like it's very stressful on the nervous system. So I just prefer easy, steady cardio right after caffeine. Hello. What do you think, babe? Good idea? It's good, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We made it. All right, y el momento de la verdad. And the moment of truth. How long was that walk? 30 minutes. 30 minutes, baby. That was, that was, that was weird. All right, you guys, so we're doing a quick smoothie. We did frozen fruit, orange juice, and vanilla protein shake. There's two scoops there. Each scoop has about half a gram of fat. Um, so we're each having about half a gram of fat. Cheers. Hey guys, I want to show you what I have here. I have a cup and a half of rice cooked without oil. I have about two scoops of vegetable broth and about six ounces of chicken, baked chicken. And I do want to show you, I put it in to my fitness pal it only says it has 1.7 grams of fat so total for the day we're at about 2.2 grams of fat <laughs> 